to tab in order to do this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way to the right and we're just going to construct our timesheet once again, which you could do in accounting software sometimes, but you might just use like a worksheet like this and say, track your hours, give it to me. I'm going to copy what we had last time for Erica that we saw in a, in the prior month and just paste it down here and say, now we'll do another one. And let's start off with Adam Smith, Adam or Hamilton, Hamilton, which is one of our employees. And let's say his rate is 75. That's what we're going to bill out. I'm going to delete the time and the customers from last month and then we'll just repopulate for the new month and we're going to say he worked for customer one which is a made-up customer which we got very lazy about and didn't even put a name customer name which is it's that customer one he worked two hours on Tuesday and Wednesday we're imagining that being like the guitar lessons that that uh, is being billed out and then he worked on customer two on Tuesday and Thursday. Now, obviously, if you're doing something like guitar lessons, you might have a fixed type of lesson structure. You might say, I, I do two hour lessons and I charge you so much for the two hour lessons. Or you might have a, a little bit less structure in it and say, I, I'm going to charge you based on a rate 